welcome guys um, this is gonna be like a crash course um, about drilling uh, on your uh, Mazak or technically any uh, other machine you're working on so we're gonna about uh, somebody requested a drilling video so what I want to do is actually talking about what type of drills on average you're gonna be dealing with so this is a indexable drill or you can call it an insert drill because you actually mount inserts on both sides uh, these are 180 uh, degree angle and what I mean by that is for example so you have drills like this uh, these drills uh, technically have a 60 degree pitch so if you're gonna measure the angle between here and here you're gonna see a 60 degree or 120 uh, technically from side to another side then we're gonna be talking about speed drills so these are regular so if you're gonna call it from this angle to th this angle it's 120 then speed drills are 130 and if you have a straight drill like this you know with the insert one you're gonna put this in the maze like as a 180 the difference between that and i'm gonna show you because i have one drill over here and it calls for 180 angle even when i use uh, high speed drills and stuff like that i still put 180 because technically if you're gonna put 120 or 130 what's gonna happen is once your drill is gonna start feeding into the material the first pack is going to cut um, the feet in half so if you set your drill as a 3000 feed rate it's gonna feed it about a thousand and a half uh, just to kind of get it going but i found personally that i rather push it uh with the full uh full feed and it keeps the drill from actually um, slipping or sometimes even walking and what i mean by walk is we got a long drill you're drilling apart sometimes the tr drill can actually go a little bit to the side um, especially on a long drill so this is as you see it's flat this is a 180 angle um, the way you mount it usually you use you're gonna use use your uh, sleeve or bushing or reduction uh, my holders are inch and a half so these holders as you see this is a one inch holder you can have them in three quarters five eighths half an inch three eighths and so on this is a chamfer drill uh, also uh, spot face I heard all kind of names for it so this is actually 45 degree angle so that that would be a 90 degree angle these are spade type of the drills so you have a drill like and then you have these tips as you see so this tip is removal you can buy these tips in a smaller and bigger size there's also another set which is called crown drills but it's technically the same thing you just buy the tips these are your carbide drills um, carbide usually uh, sometimes they come with a uh, coolant through as you see you have little holes kind of on tip it's gonna be hard for me to pinpoint but as you see these are center ca cutting drills and what I mean by that is uh, if you let me see if I can zoom in without uh, losing focus um, if you kind of look in the side of the profile you see the cutting line it goes all the way to the center and then it continues to the back now this is a high-speed drill and you see the tip is totally different so with these type of drills where you don't have that cutting edge all the way to the center you actually need a pilot hole so you can use a uh, center drill so center drills technically give you pilot holes for these type of drills like high speed uh, these carbide drills don't need us like I said they don't need a uh, pilot hole or center drill because they are center cutting and technically carbide does not like having a center uh, you can actually chip it uh, so if you have your center right so center is gonna be like a 30 degree this is your pilot let's call it and then your drill comes 
for example it's like this and usually they actually get damaged right right at these sections so carbide drills do not light uh, pilot holes or center drills because you're going to chip them much faster and that's the reason why they actually have pilot holes in them um, so technically these spot drills and center drills are good uh, indexable drills insert drills and stuff like that they do not need um, they do not need those pilot holes so what I do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a quick let me see I'm gonna make a quick video um, this vi about uh, showing you the differences this is a one inch uh, indexable insert drill okay I'm gonna write a program quick program and to show you the differences between different options so I'm gonna insert a new unit I'm gonna go for turning because we're turning uh, T drill turning drill hole diameter my my drill is one inch so automatically we'll apply one inch drill over here and now we have different uh, options right so zero one two three four and I took a picture out of manual to kind of show you the difference what's the difference between dr a drilling bottom packing bottom a number one and two three and four I never used uh, three re reamer bottom I'm guessing is like this is something where you use if you're planning to ream the hole so let's pick uh, drilling bottom zero okay depth of cut uh, you can do auto set so just to be because uh, I need to be kind of explain like why you do so for example uh, the depth one okay uh, sorry the depth one it's usually is as big as as your drill so if your drill is half an inch the first cut is going to be half an inch and then number two and number three are going to be smaller and then it goes back to one so it technically follows uh, this pattern so if you're drilling four inches it's going to be one inch then 118 118 one inch 118 118 it's going to come in into the part and come out uh, with the rapid so and just to clarify what's a rapid so moving your turret that's a rapid when you have when you see the turret that's approach approaching the part fairly quick that's going to be a rapid move and then the cutting move it's it's what you call well the feet fe feeding into the part whatever you program it it's uh it's going to be a feeding move right so feeding moves are controlled by the feed rate that you put uh, on your cutting conditions the rapid moves are controlled over here right so um i can go 2 10 25 50 or 1 and the machine is going to approach very very slowly um so oh see i gotta i gotta back it up come down so usually it's like this the only time when i uh when i change this when i actually use packing is for these high speed high speed drills if you have a insert drill or you have a uh, you know spade drill like this that's got a coolant through you don't need to pack it because you're actually gonna destroy the insert much faster uh, same thing these uh, insert drills also are coolant through as you see there is a cap behind the, uh, this holder so the coolant actually comes through these uh, ports over here so the only reason why you actually use a cooling through is like i said to provide a little bit more cooling um, high speed uh, tools and drills they don't take heat very well uh, carbide for example it doesn't really matter it doesn't uh, it doesn't get affected as much uh, but carbide is also very very rigid so for example if your machine is off the center um, you can break the carbide much easier um, because obviously high speed is going to deflect a little bit more it's got a little bit more give but also with the uh, high speed uh, you can I mean depends on the size of the drill but let's just say that uh, carbide you can run on uh, fast rpms a little bit sm small feed uh, versus uh, high speed and cobalt drills you're going to run them a little bit on slower rpms but you can give them a little bit more uh, feed rate 
when it comes to these indexable uh, inserts, uh, insert drills, these, these, these can take pretty good punishment. They hold up pretty well. Also, that's going to depend on the material and, and, and things like that. Um, but let's continue. So, so let's just say that, okay, I have an uh, insert drill. So if I'm drilling two inches, I'm going to put this as a two inches. I only want it to go, go in once. I don't need to come out. But if let's say I'm using a high speed drill, I want this to come out, go 200 and out, 118 out. And you can change this to, to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Like, but these are just automatically populated by the system. Uh, C speed. So drills, you can program anywhere from 100 to 300. Depends on the material. We're going to go 300. Safe. Uh, safe feed rate for high speed drills and other drills is 3000. But insert drills, you can push even five. We're going to turn the coolant. Let's go uh, for demonstration of purpose. We're going two inches deep, right? So we have uh, uh, one drill and we're going to go in a pattern uh, 5,000 uh, fast. Okay, single drill. Okay, let me close the door a little bit. I don't remember, let me see. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open the chuck. I'm gonna pull out this part. And then I'm gonna change. Let me see before I do this. I'm gonna change the chuck to interior. Give me a second. Okay, open it. And one. Okay. So, so I don't drill through my jaws. All right, everything looks good. All right, so I'm gonna run it on open jaws without anything in. So. So the problem that I have with the zero is that it goes in with a 5,000 feed rate and then it also comes out with the 500 feed rate. So it's actually pretty slow. And it's gonna cut into my job, but it's okay. As you see the numbers, It's retracting really slow. I actually have no idea why uh, why this is actually kind of set up because even when you go in and out, technically, there's no point of coming out very slowly unless you are going through like materials that will require uh, a little bit more cooling. So technically, you you will kind of give it more time. But what this technically does is goes in slowly comes out slowly on the packing goes in slowly comes out if you're gonna do it in one shot right so you're going from zero to two inches then it's also gonna come out in one pass zero to six inches so this is gonna be your number zero now we're gonna change it to uh, pattern packing one Let's see okay we're all good memory and drill okay let's go as you see this one feeds into the part and then it wrap it out to remove chip this is gonna be your number one and this is the one that i use always because like i said if i'm using an uh, insert drill and I'm going, let's say, five inches deep. All I do is my first pass. I set it, set it to 500, and it's gonna do everything in one shot without coming in and out, in and out. If I'm using a high-speed drill or drill that doesn't have a coolant through in it, then I will adjust the first pass, let's say, to the size of the drill. So, like I said, if your drill is half an inch, 
do the first pass half an inch, as you see, much faster. Do the fast pa pass half a drill, and then the second and third, you're gonna you can do quarter inch and quarter inch, and then go back to half an inch and half an inch. Okay, this is your pattern one. Now packing bottom number two. We got 200. Drill, okay. Okay, and let's see what it did. So as you see, this goes in 200 and wait. 200 and wait. 200 and wait. Or you see remaining, you see it uh, got zero, and again 200, zero, and again. So this this stops, it breaks the chip, but without the need of actually coming out. And usually when you do these things, as everything when it comes to like uh, when I showed you the when it comes to like different patterns of cutting, if you're going to if you're going to the uh, TPC right on top. Let me see, uh, start, deceleration, reamer, drill relief, uh, safety clearance out, and phase. This is, you adjust these things like how close, uh, uh, when it comes to coming, uh, like approaching the part and moves the part away. Tool clearance after facing, mill, spindle, index position. Okay, drill relief, reamer. So, so this TPC technically doesn't have it, but I kind of figured that uh, usually what you can do is you can adjust how many, how many revolutions um, you need to pass before it's gonna get re-engaged again. Uh, so technically this will be your like three, uh, and you know what, let me, it will be your three patterns. So drilling bottom, it goes in slowly, and it, so it goes goes in with the feed and it comes out with the feed takes a little bit longer packing bottom it goes in with the feed but retracts with uh with the rapid uh and packing bottom number three is goes in waits a uh, few revolutions goes in breaks a chip breaks a chip breaks a chip but it doesn't retract um and the depth of cuts like i said if you have a carbide drill you have an insert drill uh, set to depth of cut while you're on a pattern one to to whatever uh, length you're going so if I'm going two inches I'll set this to my two inches so it doesn't pack same thing for carbide but if I'm doing a high speed or cobalt drill then if my uh, drill is half an inch I'm gonna do first depth of cut half an inch my second one quarter of that is so quarter inch so half of this half of this go back half an inch half of this and half of this and these usually provide a pretty good um what do you call it uh, pretty good uh enough time to you know for the cooling and i'll show you something like just this is a pretty obvious but i'm gonna run this we, we run this drill number one okay and what i'm gonna do because you see it was packing pretty quick but if you want if you need to uh, that packing to slow down just go back to R2, R1, so that's gonna be 1% or 5%, and it's gonna retract a little bit slower. So this is where you control those things, right? So as you see, I have it at 5% right now. Okay, I'm gonna let it run. 10% for a faster approach. Okay, and now it's gonna drill, right? So this is 25%. Okay, I'm gonna, I just slow it down to 10%. And now I'm gonna slow it down to 1%. And you see how much slower it is? So you, it, it will give you a little bit extra time for a little bit cooling. Or like I said, or if you need to catch the drill in like certain area. Uh, and these you're gonna control with this knob. As you see, there's a little wave. So sharp edges is going to be your speed uh, it's going to be your feet but these little wavy lines this is going to be 
uh, the rapid so you're approaching uh, retracting tooling and, and everything um, and what do you call it this is going to be the speed so if you need to go faster as you see 110 120 130 these sharp line is your fee so if you're going want to speed up let's say you're 5000 and you want to go a little bit faster this is where you adjust it i think i kind of broke it down pretty much uh, like all the basics when it comes to the drill um well thank you for watching and uh see you guys next time